My name is William Justice, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite hidden super secret feature of DaVinci Resolve Fusion. It took me a while to find it. For me, learning is like a game. Sometimes things are right in front of your face and you can't see them. That's the challenge. That's what makes it fun. It's like solving a puzzle. Even when things seem complicated, the answers may be simple. That's when you have that light bulb moment where everything becomes clear. That's why I started this channel. I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to try new things and see how they worked. It's not always obvious. For me, the fun is discovering and seeing what I can create. Okay, the video I was planning on doing is taking a little bit longer to put together. Um, I still have a shot time to go film um, probably this next, this coming week. Um, but while I'm waiting on that, I thought I'd put this together and share something that I use quite a bit that helps me out with my videos. So here's a video on my favorite hidden super secret feature of DaVinci Resolve Fusion. I'm still learning, but I really wish I would have found this earlier. I think it would have saved me a lot of time. Okay, well, it's not really hidden and it's not super secret, but it was for me. I It took me way too long to find it. Um, you just gotta try stuff out and really what I do is I go around and push some buttons and see what happens. I pushed the button before and I don't think I exploded enough to figure out what it really did and the next time I went in and tried it out, I understood what it was gonna do and I've been using it ever since. It's the versions feature. There's so many times where I have an animation set up, but I would like to really try out some different options, change some settings to see if I could maybe make it a little bit better. The versions feature allows you to save settings that you have and to try out new settings and then tweak them. And if you don't like them, you can actually go back to a previous set that was saved or even try multiple options and then run the animation through to see out which set of options work best for what you want to do. Let me show you how to use it. I spend quite a bit of time adjusting my animations, tweaking things, seeing if little adjustments in timing, sizing, spacing, even colors um, can make a difference to make the animation just a little bit better. Okay, we're gonna start with a really simple fusion animation. We have a background, text, merge, and a media out. So this is gonna be a real simple um, demonstration of how uh, you can use the versions feature. Um, the question is, looking at the screen, where do you think it is? Could be anywhere, it's really easy to access. You gotta look around, there's a button and we're just going to have to push it and we'll be able to get right in there. It is right here. This is the versions button and you click it and you see uh, one through six and each one of those represents the the version that you're editing. So the way this works we'll do something really simple. Um, so let's say we'll change let's say change the font. So we'll select the text node. We have the the versions click you can click that on and off to toggle it so we're on version one right now and let's change the font and we'll just pick one so there's a there's a kind of a different font there now if we want to try a different font all we have to do is click or actually this works for any of these settings the the color so let's we can go in and change the color um, we'll make it kind of a that, that color right there any of the settings, animations, and everything. So we'll go back up to the versions, we'll scroll to the top, we'll hit two. And what that did is that copied all our existing settings from the version one into this version. So it's from the last one that you were looking at. So in this case, one into two. And we can try, let's see, we'll change our color. So we want to go back to white. Okay, so we changed the color. Let's also change the font back. So we're gonna click over here and We'll go back to our font list and we'll click this font. So in version two, we have it as white and with the Myriad Pro font, we can click on version one. And you can see we have the, the other font, the older uh, rosewood and the green. So the way I use this is that when I'm doing animations or setting anything up, it allows me to try out a lot of different options. So Let's, uh, we can go ahead and let's see, we'll start with, we'll, I clicked on number two. So we'll start with two here and let's do a real simple animation. So we'll go to the first keyframe and let's say we want to animate the tracking. So we're going to take the tracking and move it all the way out. And we'll click over about 10 frames. Actually, let's go back here. We'll set, set a keyframe on the tracking 
and move over about 10 frames and we'll bring the tracking all the way in like that. So you can see it kind of goes like that with our, with our animation. Now if we wanted to try out a different animation to maybe kind of a different style, a different look, we're on um, version 2 right now. So all we have to do is click 3 and it's kind of copy all these settings over. So really we have the same animation for in 3 but what we're going to do is we're going to clear that out. So let's reset the tracking but we're going to right click on it and set, set to default and we're going to remove these keyframes here and go back to the very beginning and we're going to set it set the tracking we're just going to put it on one and on this one let's try zoom in so we're going to animate the size so we'll keyframe the size we'll bring it all the way down we'll go over about uh, 10 frames or so and bring the size bring the size up move over a couple frames and bring it down to have a little bounce effect. So it bounces in and out. Now the nice thing about this is, well, we can, you know, we've saved off what we did. So I click two and we still have the old animation. Um, and this allows us to try out our different options to see what works best. This really works for anything. Um, we can click on background down here and say we wanted to see, maybe we wanted to experiment with some different colors. I like this color combination here, but maybe there's something better. So you click the version icon up here. We'll click two for the second version and we can play around with our colors. Maybe we wanted to do a, a red, red to orange gradient like that. And this is on the background node for the versions and we can play, play around with it and see if we like it. If we like the original one better, we just click one and we're back to that one. So this really allows you to try out a lot of different options and experiment, which is kind of what I like to do. I like to throw the nodes down there and play around with the different options. That's what I did with the uh, the plasma text, uh, my previous animation, which I'll, I'll leave a link to that um, at the end of this video. Um, you were, I was able to try out some options, found something that I liked and tried some different things. Anyway, that's how it works. It's, it's really simple and it's pretty powerful. It lets you be really creative. And once you have something you like, you don't have to worry about trying to mess it up or changing settings and breaking something. You just create a new version and you try it out in that version. It's really easy. It's not hidden in any menu or right click option or shortcut keys or anything like that. The button is right there, right on top of the inspector. You just click it and then you have access to all your versions. Okay, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I really think you should try out the versions feature. Um, just give it a shot. It's easy to use and I think it'll help you out a lot in, when you're doing your animations. If you like my videos, please subscribe, um, comment, let me know how, how I'm doing. I'd love to hear from you. And also, um, I do have another video coming out, but I think I'm also going to put in one for the, uh, the magnifying glass effect. I kind of thought about that a little bit. Um, it was kind of a little bit of a challenge, and I, I kind of enjoyed putting it together, so I'd like to show you how that works as well.